It's Birdie Brazilian time. Hi, Fiona. Fiona's here for a full spa treatment today. She'll be getting a beak trim, a nail trim, a massage, and having some feathers removed for DNA sexing. Don't worry, I'll explain it all later. First, I'm going to trim off the excess beak length. Well, now that you've got that out of your system, let's work on getting this beak into shape. With the bulk of the beak removed, I'm using my ceramic rotary sander bit to shape it and remove a little bit of keratin at a time. Parrot beaks are made of the same material as our fingernails and toenails. Beaks have an intricate blood and nerve supply, but we're avoiding all of these things by just taking off the outer layers. For most birds, this process occurs pretty naturally, but every once in a while you get a character like Fiona and it's just not wearing down like it should. While this can be due to a lack of proper chewing items, it can also be due to medical problems. These can be confirmed or ruled out by blood work done by a vet. And if your bird has beak overgrowth, it's a good idea to get them checked out. Some species, like Amazons, are more prone to liver issues which can show beak overgrowth as one of the symptoms. Fiona is a recent rescue, and her background is pretty unknown, so her new caretaker is going to see what happens after we get her back to square one. Next, it's time to tackle the talons. They also have a blood supply inside, which is called the quick, so I just take off a little bit at a time. Once I've removed the excess length, I can use my ceramic bit and round the tips, just like we did with the beak. This leaves a nice, smooth, rounded finish so that the bird is much more comfortable to handle and much less likely to get tangled up. Offering perches of different textures, diameters, and angles helps the nails wear down naturally a little bit at a time. But some birds still need a little bit of extra help to keep them safe. And that's okay, that's what I'm here for. Now it's time to remove some feathers from near the vent, which will be sent into a lab for DNA testing. This will determine if Fiona is truly Fiona or maybe Frank. After that indignity, Fiona's ready for a massage. I use organic cold-pressed coconut oil, but you can use any food-safe oil that you prefer. Just don't use avocado oil because it is toxic to birds. The coconut oil helps polish the beak and give it a nice soft shine. It also tastes pretty good, and right now I can't tell if Fiona's trying to eat the coconut oil or my fingers. She's pretty quick, but luckily I'm quicker. I think she's just messing with me. You little stinker. So let's talk about DNA sexing and why it can be really useful for pet parrots. Biologically, parrots are birds, obviously, and they do produce eggs from time to time. Egg production is dependent on a lot of factors like diet, access to nesting spots, and even the way that we pet or interact with our parrot. Female birds that are stimulated to produce eggs may be in grave danger. Eggs can get stuck inside of the animal, and this is a life-threatening emergency. A caretaker that is aware they are housing a female bird can make decisions that will positively influence their life and health. Plus, they can keep a watchful eye for any signs of an egg-bound emergency. Fiona's new owner will get the results back in a few weeks. Fiona's health and behavior have already improved drastically under new owner's care. With proper care, Amazon parrots like Fiona can live 50 to 70 years. While parrots are a decades-long commitment, there are many birds like Fiona who are already up there in age, and they need homes too. I strongly recommend anybody who's looking into making an informed decision to welcome a parrot into their home to look into rescue birds. There are many parrots whose owners have aged out or encountered failing health. In the right home, these birds could have many good years ahead of them. There's just not enough informed homes to go around. But Fiona landed softly in a real good one.